guys, what's up? It's DHD Tech Buzz here today, and I'm doing a real quick tutorial, real simple, on how to control your Apple TV with your iDevice. iPad, iPod, iPhone, whatever you have, it's gonna work, as long as you have this app. I'm gonna talk about some things you're gonna need before you do this. So first of all, you're gonna need your device, obviously. That's why you look this up. Next thing you're gonna need is the remote app. It's right on the screen. Just go ahead and download that app from the App Store, and you'll almost be ready to go. You're also going to need a second or third generation Apple TV. This is not supported on the first generation Apple TV, only second and third. And I also believe that your iPhone or whatever you're using needs to be on iOS 4 and above for AirPlay to work. All right, so now that we have all that clear, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show right, you so how to do it. here we're down at the TV that I have the Apple TV hooked up to over there in the corner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and power on the TV. All right, so I turned on the TV and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to that input for the Apple TV, mine's HDMI. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take that Apple remote, not not your phone, not the remote app, you're gonna take wanna take the remote for the Apple TV and click it on and the light will show up. You should know this if you have an Apple TV. The next thing you're gonna wanna do on the Apple TV with the remote is scroll over to settings and you're going to want to go to down to AirPlay and the settings, and you're gonna wanna make sure that AirPlay's on. Now you can set a password, that doesn't make a difference, just make sure you know it whenever you go to uh, set up your iPhone, and don't worry about the on-screen code. All right, so once you know that's good, you also wanna make sure, going back to settings, you want to make sure that when you go into general, you wanna make sure that you're on the same network as the Apple TV. As you can see, I have my network right here. So make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi on the Apple TV than you are on your iPhone or iPod or whatever you're using. The reason I keep saying iPhone is because I'm using an iPhone. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and open up that remote application. And from here, it's really quite simple. All you have to do is select that Apple TV. So I selected the Apple TV and right now I got my list of songs. Now to control it, specifically control it, you go over to the tab on here, it says control. And then you can control it by just doing this. This is kind of going to the right. You can push to select, menu to go back. Now let's say it works just like the Apple TV, basically the same. You can, but the really nice thing about using your phone is whenever you want to type something, the keyboard comes up and you don't have to uh, scroll over with the Apple remote or anything. So that's really nice. And then you can just hit that menu button to get back to the main menu. This is any settings or any options you may have. And the play button is to play music, but there's no music playing. Now going back, you can also do a few other things with this. You can actually play music on your Apple TV through this. All right, so that's it. Now you know how to control your Apple TV with your iPhone, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. See you later.